People who aren't aware, there's a location in the Western Sahara Desert of Mauritania called the Rishat Structure. It's also commonly referred to as the Eye of the Sahara. And what's so spectacular about this is that it just so happens to match more than a dozen striking similarities to what Plato had described as the lost ancient capital city of Atlantis. In the heart of the unforgiving Sahara Desert, buried beneath centuries of shifting sands and scorching sun, lies a mystery that has confounded historians and adventurers alike. Imagine stumbling upon a hidden path, an ancient thread woven through time, revealing the existence of a lost city. How did it escape notice for so long? What treasures and tales lie waiting to be uncovered? Join us on this gripping adventure as scientists finally discover a hidden path revealing a lost city in the Sahara Desert. Earth's ancient wonder, the Rishit structure, also known as the Eye of the Sahara, is a remarkable natural wonder located in the heart of the Sahara Desert. Its immense, nearly perfectly circular shape is striking, spanning 40 kilometers across barren terrain. However, what is truly captivating is not just its size, but its uncanny resemblance to Plato's description of the legendary lost city of Atlantis. Imagine a colossal dome visible even from space. Over millennia, its layers have peeled away, revealing a pattern both unique and ancient. At its heart lies Proterozoic Quartzite, a rock that has endured for over 600 million years, surrounded by layers of sandstone and limestone, each narrating a different chapter of Earth's history. Amidst this geological composition lies siliceous breccia, suggesting a turbulent history possibly influenced by volcanic activity. Geologists explain that the distinctive ridges and valleys of the Rishit structure formed as layers of hard and soft rock eroded at different rates over time. This process shaped them into a dome, pushed upward by ancient geological forces deep within the earth. While this idea remains speculative, it adds an exciting twist to an already captivating tale, injecting a hint of mystery into the narrative, a journey through myth and archaeology. Plato's stories about Atlantis, found in his dialogues Timaeus and Critias, truly ignite the imagination. Through these dialogues, written around 2,400 years ago during Athens' golden age of philosophy and culture, it's as if Plato was having an animated discussion using his characters to explore various concepts and perspectives. Plato referred to Atlantis as a mythical island city that existed beyond the Pillars of Hercules, which we now know as the Strait of Jalter. Plato spared no details describing Atlantis as a massive landmass larger than Libya and Asia combined. The way he described its layout is nothing short of fascinating, with concentric rings of land and sea that would have required incredible engineering skills to construct, featuring intricate canals and bridges. At the heart of Atlantis lay its fertile central plain, a farmer's paradise surrounded by towering mountains that provided abundant resources and natural protection. But Atlantis wasn't just about its geography. Plato painted a vivid picture of a city rich in resources and technological innovation, with mysterious metals like orichalcum alongside gold and silver. The city's infrastructure was remarkably advanced, boasting sophisticated water systems, magnificent temples, grand palaces, and bustling harbors. Nubia, enduring civilization of the Sahara when we think of the Sahara Desert, our minds conjure images of endless sand dunes. Yet beneath this vast expanse lies a veritable time capsule preserving Earth's ancient history. One of the lesser known but incredibly significant chapters within this desert's depths is the Nubian civilization. Thriving in what is now Sudan and southern Egypt, this civilization, spanning from approximately 2000 BCE to 350 CE, represents a remarkable example of advanced culture, architecture, and political sophistication. Picture a civilization that endured for over two millennia, flourishing during pivotal periods like the Kingdom of Kerma, the Napatan Dynasty, and the Meroitic Kingdom. Nubia's strategic position along the Nile River, stretching from southern Egypt's first cataract to central Sudan's sixth cataract, was not merely a geographical happenstance. It served as a vital artery for trade and economic prosperity, fueled by Nubia's abundant gold mines. These resources made Nubia a vital hub for luxury commodities such as ivory, incense, and ebony, highly coveted across sub-Saharan Africa and the Mediterranean. The prevailing archaeological view once dismissed alternative theories regarding ancient civilizations, including arguments by John West and Robert Schock challenging the age of structures like the Sphinx. Skeptics argued that no culture existed 12,000 years ago capable of creating such monuments, citing the established dating of the Sphinx as 4,500 years ago. 
However, this perspective shifted with discoveries like Gobekli Teep, a deliberately buried site dating back 11,600 years. The mystery of the Sahara's transformation, the Sahara Desert holds a mysterious past. Extensive research suggests that the Sahara Desert once teemed with life, characterized by lush vegetation and lakes. Early humans thrived here as hunter-gatherers, exploiting the abundant natural resources. Imagine traveling through the Sahara 10,500 years ago, you would have encountered a vastly different world. Back then, this desert was not barren but a landscape of dense forests and lush grasslands basking under the African sun. These grasslands supported a rich diversity of life, including giraffes, elephants, rhinos, and even crocodiles. It's astonishing to think such an ecosystem existed in northern Africa. So, what caused this dramatic change? How did a thriving savanna turn into the harsh, lifeless desert we see today? The transformation of this environment tells a shocking tale of Earth's climatic upheavals. For centuries, the Sahara has experienced regular shifts between wet and dry periods. Hidden wonders of the Sahara In the Sahara, known mostly for its vast expanses of sand, scientists unearthed a surprising discovery buried beneath its surface. Evidence of two ancient mega lakes that thrived approximately 250,000 years ago. Typically, lakes are still bodies of water surrounded by land, and a mega lake is an exceptionally large body of water enclosed by land. This revelation of lakes in the Sahara was truly unexpected. Deserts, named for their extreme temperatures, are generally incapable of retaining moisture. The closest known lake to the Sahara, Lake Chad in Central Africa, is evidence of this aridity. Therefore, finding signs of prehistoric mega lakes beneath the Sahara sands raised intriguing questions. The discovery was made possible through the examination of fossil fish remains found far from the Nile. Scientists identified an 810-foot sea level marker, indicating that the Nile River once flooded the area, forming a lake that covered approximately 247 square miles, almost as large as Lake Michigan, one of the world's largest lakes. Another lower-level lake, situated 623 feet above sea level and 93 miles west of the Nile, covered an area of 197 square miles. Using radar technology, scientists traced an ancient water channel that flowed from the Nile to an oasis. Fossils of ancient life, the Sahara has yielded a treasure trove of fossils from a variety of aquatic life forms, including fish, mollusks, and even ancient plants. Among the most exciting discoveries are the fossils of dinosaurs, such as those from the pterosaur family, which had beaks, and the sauropods, the enormous herbivores with long necks. What's truly fascinating is that these dinosaur species are entirely new to science. The joy was palpable when Nazar Ibrahim and his team uncovered these pristine fossils in Algeria, their efforts rewarded after a grueling expedition in the harsh Sahara. Another remarkable find is the Whale Valley, or Wadi al Hayden, located in the western desert of Egypt, not far from Cairo. This site contains an extensive collection of whale fossils, specifically those of the Archaeocete, the ancestors of modern whales. These ancient whales had lost their hind limbs and transitioned from land dwellers to fully aquatic creatures. Paleontologists believe that these fossils represent a crucial moment in evolutionary history, offering invaluable insights into the transition from land to sea. In a groundbreaking discovery, paleontologists in Tunisia have unearthed fossils of massive sea-dwelling crocodiles that once inhabited the Sahara Desert. This ancient species, named Macamosaurus rex or M. rex, is believed to have been over 30 feet long and weighed an astonishing 3 tons. With a skull measuring more than 5 feet, what do you think about lost civilizations in the Sahara Desert? Let us know your opinion in the comments below.